talking about. I'm just loving the sound bites coast to coast from That's the league I'm this year. Uh, That's what I'm talking can't trust a man that eat bologna sandwiches voluntarily. You I can't, can't, can't trust a man that does yeah. not. <laughs> so strong words from Marone and Jason Garrett following that 33-point blowout. How do these two teams respond going forward? And let's start with the Cowboys. Well, uh, when you look at the way that they ran the football last week and, and people were, you know, criticizing this offense about not being creative, right? Uh, I, they were a little bit more creative last week. I can say that. But Dak Prescott used his genetic abilities. I've been talking about that. He can run the football. Crazy. He can run the football, and that's how you open a defense up. Yeah, you, now you have to play true 11-on-11 11 11 football. I have to cover 53 and a third uh, horizontally and 110 yards vertically. That's what the new NFL offense is in the National Football League, and I'm just glad to see that the Dallas Cowboys kind of realized that last week. Now, Dak Prescott's going to have to understand he's going to be sore the next day now. <laughs> you know, he's going to be hit a little bit more. He's going to have to strain a little bit more. Some of that yogurt. <laughs> That's that yogurt that he's advertising. So Linehan just woke up and said, yes, this is what we should do today? Um, they, they, I don't know what's going on in that building. But what, I, but what I will say is you can see that it was a concerted effort on film to Dak, for Dak to run the football and for this offensive line to be dominant up front. Hey, you, I'll, I'll maybe, can you, can she's on to something because sometimes you, you take a step back and you realize, okay, what are our strengths? What do we need to play to? Sometimes you need those moments, and they have continued to say that they're sticking by uh, Scott Linehan, whether it's upper management or whether it's Jason Garrett, and those were just words for Jared a while. Jones then goes and says, Cam Newton, the way they use him and the way they, you know, they I mean, that's, that's, why, you that, that was that's why you saw That him. was coded language. He yes. said that years ago. <laughs> he said he said that weeks ago. He said he, he, he needs to be more like Cam Newton and Jared Goff. What does Jared Goff do? He gets to the line early and the coach is telling him and doing some what of the thinking for him, <laughs> saying, look, the safety's coming here. These are the two plays. Yes. 15 seconds, okay, I got to go. See you later. Right? And what does Cam do? He uses his legs. He uses his ability is athleticism and I said it before Dak has to realize who he is I said this on this show a couple of weeks ago he's in a contract year because he wasn't a first round draft pick yeah. so he, this is his contract year he wants he doesn't want to be known as a mobile quarterback he wants to get paid like a pocket quarterback so now he's trying to show and prove his arm off and show, show show everybody you know that he can make plays down the field with his arm that's not really who he, who he you is think I said, he, boy, you think it's you think it's Dak consciously saying look let me show listen people. listen listen let you're, 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 for, you're yeah. a former black quarterback yeah. What's the biggest knock or the biggest criticism you can say about a black African-American quarterback? That we can't throw out of the pocket and that we can't think. My point. So now he's proven that he can beat you in the pocket like all the great quarterbacks when you talk about, you know, Aaron Rodgers, you talk about Drew this Brees. Game about winning, though? But you, you got to win games. But listen, he's also trying to build his brand and get, you know, the the uh, the the big contract and not get the Andy Dalton. We got an out contract. He's not trying to get the Blake Bortles. So we can think, get out in three years. You think Dak is contract. playing the business thing, but I don't know about that. You really do, do players play? The business. No, they do. I know players play the it's business. A difference card, but I'm of 30, about that. It's a difference between thirty to forty million dollars. Yes. <sighs> Would you play that one? Yeah, I would. Ask yourself. I, mean, I play fullback though, so you know, a little different, a little yeah. different uh, funding for us. Yeah. yeah. Think, <laughs> it's making you less effective though. I mean, if, you, if if that's the approach that you're taking, you're not mm -hmm. playing to your. You're strengths. not winning games. You're not. Yeah. You also look. The running game isn't what it was two years ago. Right? We've talked about that. The offensive the, line ain't the same. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Without Travis Frederick, they're missing yep. a couple of guys there. Of so the whole thing is different. So all this confidence that you're expressing. Zeke's still we, pretty high on yeah, that list. He's, yeah, he's he is. Okay. <laughs> but, it, but you know it's not the same. I mean, you know it's not. They're missing their, their future Hall of Fame tight end, which is the last minute. Like, like the fact that but, we're, but we're still expecting him to have this brilliant year building upon what he had without the offensive line, losing Dez, losing Jason Witten last minute, that's tough. But even last year, he struggled with those guys, right? Well, yeah. Dez because wasn't that's, that's not what Dez. Wasn't Dez. Yeah. But, but, that, but that, that, that's not what he is. Look how beautifully the Philadelphia Eagles use Foles with those RPOs, being able to, to, to freeze those linebackers. Yeah. What happens is when you're a mobile quarterback, you, you control the backside defensive end, so you're going to help the running game, and you're going to create cutback lanes for Zeke that's going to open up the running game even more, and then you take your shots down the field. At the end of the day, your numbers will be the same. You just got there a little different. Mm. This team's three and three. They haven't and won on the road. I love the win over the Jags. I feel like I still don't know who they are. They have the number the two deep. No, I'm talking about the Cowboys. Oh. They have the number two defense in the league right now going into this week. I love that. Hopefully they can lean on that. They should lean on the run, which mm -hmm. is what their identity should be. We haven't mm -hmm. seen it consistently enough on offense. And they've got to win on the road. And that's what they've got this week in Washington. Absolutely. But I think they realized what their, what their identity was. And like I said with, with Linehan, 
they were just words. Now it's more than words. Now it's on film. Now they see it for themselves. You would think if the question was how are they going to respond to this, I would think that they would continue to do what they did last week and start to play. But it's, it's easy to it's easy to play good defense when the, your offense is playing is running the football. Right. That's right? always well. Been their I, I was but, talking but, offensively. Yeah, yeah, I know. Exactly. But whenever let's say that defense slips and, and give up some explosive plays, can this offense get in a, a can this behind. offense get in a track meet?